Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another Quick Tips Tutorials brought to you by Photoshop Elements Custom Tutorials Group. And let's jump right in with today's poster. I want us to know how to get rid of this glare on the glasses. Now, as I had said before, when the glare is this white, I'm going to zoom in here, and there's no information of the face behind the glare, as you can see when we zoom in, there's nothing you can do. There's You can't get that back once it's white because it's not a glare in front of a face. As far as the actual photo is concerned, what it is is a face with white blotches instead of the eyes. And there's, once there's a white blotch like this from the glare, there's no way to capture information behind that because it isn't there. The white's covering it all. So what we're going to do is um, if I'd rather take another photo of this person's eyes and replace the eyes. But since they don't have that, the very, very last resort is to use the smudge brush. And that's going to be right up here. So you see this hand coming down. Now, once you click on it, you come down here and it actually might be defaulted in this brush right here. So you see there's a droplet. So when you come down here, you want to grab the little hand. That's a smudge brush. Then you have to pick a actual brush. So what you do is you come up here and you leave that on normal, come down here and here's the brush. And it's a nice soft brush. If it happens to be on one of these hard ones, like here on the 19, then it's going to be a hard brush. You don't want that. You want a soft brush. So I click here and choose one of these soft brushes up here. I'll choose like a 300 point and see how that looks. And that gives us a really, really big circle. That's way too big. Let's come back down and let's give us something like a 21 point and see what that looks like. See, that looks a lot more manageable. So at 21 point, with that circle, I'm going to start with these two glare pieces down here. This is pretty easy. You just go like this and with the left mouse button, you hold it down and you just push the white out when you get to the end here with a little bit of white left I just do a little circle like that and it kind of just meshes it away let's do the same thing with this one I'm going to smudge this one down little by little like that and then at the bottom I'll smudge it back up and that will take out that glare now you can see the smudge marks are down and up but so if you go in a circle like this it takes that down and up swervy away this one up here will do the same thing i'm going to carefully smudge that out see what's happening i'm smudging those pieces of glare out now see that smudge looks like it's up going sideways so if i kind of go in a circle here it takes out that sideways um smudge mark now around the eyeball it's going to be a little bit harder but if as long as we kind of do this and follow that eyelid we can kind of get that and then from here we're going to smudge this up and out and it's not perfect as a matter of fact it's far from perfect but I suppose it's if it's doable for some people then you know go ahead and do it this way now up here I'm gonna smudge this out once we get to the end here we just smudge it back you get a little bit of a piece here you just kind of go in a circle I can like smudge the eye a little bit bigger like this boom and there we go. Once there's just these last little pieces, you just keep on playing with it until it softens up. And that's about as good as we're going to get with that. Now let's go ahead and do the left eye, our right position. See, there's not much information there. There's a lot of eye missing. So if I kind of smudge this like that, so I'm going to get a smaller brush, something like 10 point. And smudge the circle first like this keep on going back and forth until you're you got a kind of a, a circle remade then we grab everything else let's make that go back up to a 20 point just keep on playing with it it's kind of like playing with clay you're gonna make a little clay claymation and keep on playing with it until until it's kind of like the right color and it's okay if it's got a little bit of white along the glasses frame because there would be a natural glare from the light there anyway so there you go now if you really wanted you could add another layer to soften the whole thing but at this point i think it's kind of better just to leave it alone where it's at well, there it is. I'm going to zoom out again. Once you zoom it out to show all the uh, 
characters in the picture, you may not notice it as much. Well, this is Rich for this tutorial, calling it quits, saying over and out.